This is a drawing of an eye and I start very loosely um, just some very crude lines <laughs> and uh, I adjust these lines along the way so um, if you want to make a very neat drawing you have to start a different way perhaps but uh, I just add uh, accentuations and hatchings and while I do that I make corrections to the drawing and uh, yeah it's built up from accentuations rather than um, very carefully uh, uh, adding hatchings and so on it's just uh, there's some sort of continuous flow of, of, of accentuations here <laughs> And I like working with ballpoint uh, on this paper, so that's the, it glides very smoothly over the paper, and uh, it's nice to work with that instead of a uh, graphite pencil once in a while. Usually, I make drawings on this channel with graphite pencil, but sometimes uh, this is also fun to do, and I try to get. Uh, the effect of that eye correct with the highlight and uh, the appearance of it this the transparent eye the iris and here I'm adjusting the form of the eye adding a dark transition from dark to light a bit a little bit of the skin Here I'm making this line a little better, uh, accentuation, ac accentuating the line, the tear duct, and here also. So there is this very crude beginning, and along the way I adjust the lines that that, that, that you see. So now it's a little more. It, 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 the forms are a little tighter now. Adjusting the pupil a bit and the iris. Had to I have to leave out that highlight. Have to be careful not to make it too dark there. Maybe I did make it too dark there. <laughs> not sure. And so I'm adding accentuations to make that eye more convincing. And along the way, I, I just uh, adjust these um, forms and hatchings and so on, so it gets more correct along the way. You can start by a very correct uh, line drawing and fill it in, and this is more organic or something in another way. I'm extending the drawing a little bit. <laughs> gives it more context, the eye. Adding a little bit of tonal value to define the, 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 the tonal values of the skin a little bit around it. If you don't do that, the eye is so isolated on the paper that it's not really, it doesn't seem natural. Perhaps so. Uh, I add a little bit of context. And as I go along, you can see that the eye starts to take shape more and more, and uh, it, it gets a sort of three dimensional appearance more than in the beginning. That's because a lot of shadow is added, like the shadow. And at a certain moment you can start adding subtle changes. So you start very crude and at a certain moment you, you, one tries to add very subtle modifications in tonal value. 
and sometimes you want to keep uh, well, I like that addition to the iris sometimes you like to keep going as you started with the kind of energy and sometimes you want to uh, end the drawing more subtle than you started it so that's just what your approach is and how the drawing develops and what's the kind of effect that you want it to have sometimes you just want to have that energy but I want to have a certain subtlety as well in, in a drawing like this but it all at least in this drawing so that's a choice that you make Adding some more, uh, yeah, slightly delineations, but not much. Sometimes you have these uh, that is it, it, that it starts to get to be some something between a line or a series of accentuations, <laughs> and that's uh, I think that can be more livelier than when you have straight lines which define the the eye you have this combination of accentuations and a more linear approach that merge into what you are doing <coughs> uh, the eyelashes try to accentuate here and there so it gives this effect of eyelashes and um, it has to be organically part of the drawing uh, of the, of the whole approach so along the way I just accentuate certain things certain hatchings or I add some accentuation to get those eyelashes there a little bit of atmosphere by adding some hatchings in the skin there above and I leave it at this thank you for watching and if you like these kind of videos please subscribe thank you